A former OU running back has made a name for himself in the fashion world. He's also continuing the game that he loves up in Canada with the Tiger Cats. Sooner Sports Pads Clark Sachs has more on the multi-talented athlete. Most kids that grow up in Norman, Oklahoma have two dreams, playing football for the University of Oklahoma and making it to the NFL. However, most don't make it as far as the first stage. The dreams remain just that, dreams. Growing up in Norman, Moses Madu almost passed up the first opportunity. It was enticing because it's the University of Oklahoma. You know, you see him playing in national championships and stuff, but I had my mind on other places. I just, I kind of wanted to get away at the time. Staying close to home allowed Moses to be one step closer to the NFL, playing alongside future pros Sam Bradford, Gerald McCoy, DeMarco Murray, and countless others. He was almost there. When I realized I had a, a good shot doing it, coming out of high school, going to a place like OU, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm that much closer. And then going there and, and then making the team my rookie year as a, as, a, as a free agent during the lockout, you know, it's just like, wow, this is crazy. After three years in the NFL, the dream ended but left him with the opportunity to keep playing up north in the Canadian Football League. For two years now, Moses has been a Hamilton Tiger Cat, not the place he expected to be. And I never would think I'd be in Canada playing football. You know, when I was a little kid, somebody told me, but like, Canada? I mean, and, and it's a blast out there. The game's different, but it, it, it's so fun, and it brought back the love of football for me. But there was always another dream that Moses and his brother Chica had in the back of their minds. The two always loved fashion from an early age, and two and a half years ago decided to start their own clothing line, Mad University. Growing up, my brother and I, we always, we, we loved fashion. We loved dressing up, looking good. You know, I remember in the mornings, we would take so long to pick our outfit. I would take literally an hour and a half, two hours to get ready, and they'd all be waiting for me. I can remember like waking up before school and both of us just like taking hours to get ready. Like our next door neighbor was our cousin and uh, he, had like the same taste and style as us. So in early in the morning before school, we'd be like running back and forth to each other's houses, borrowing clothes and whatnot. Like, I don't know, we always just took the fashion deal serious. After tearing the labrum in his left shoulder, even before the preseason began this year, Moses was able to shift his focus from making guys look foolish on the field to making guys look stylish off the field. I just remember him being like, man, I'm home. Um, we have time now, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's, let's, I really want to uh, invest my money into this and invest my time into this and that. I dove in head first. You know, I've done a lot of designs. The shirt I got on, I, I did most of this designing. When you put that out and see people love it and like, hey, yeah, you got friends coming to you, like it, it feels you. Kind of like being on a football field, scoring a touchdown, like, ah, I want it again. You know, same thing like putting out clothes and people love it. Football and fashion, two things that in today's world seem to go hand in hand giving Moses the best opportunity to fulfill both aspects of his life. Fashion on the field, the way, you know, the, the long towel I wear on my hip, you know, and the way I do my tape and, you know, my jersey and my cleats and my details on my socks, the way I roll them up and have them here, it, it's, it's, it's everywhere. If you ask around, people will tell you Moses Madu is a football player, but Moses is hoping to be known for a little bit more. It's everybody, you know, oh, you played football, this and that. It'd be cool if they're like, oh, you have the clothing brand. I'm like, yeah, you know, that'd be so cool one day to get to that point where it's like, they know me for football, but Santa, like, you make those cool clothes, you know, that'd, that'd be real cool. Moses is still living his first dream of playing professional football. And now he's living one more. Clark Sachs, Sooner Sports Pad.